And then on Friday, 11-11 Friday is. So maybe we'll make wishes all day on Friday. That could be fun. Every hour, make a wish on 11-11-22. Friday is Venus's day. The planet of love rules the day. So spread much, as much love around as possible. Remember, all energy at its basis is love. And especially with this lunar eclipse that we have in Taurus and the North Node transiting in Taurus, we're leaning into love because Venus rules Taurus. So lean into love as much as possible, uh, particularly on Friday. And you will have your Gemini moon for most of your day on Friday. Then Luna will enter Cancer at 7.22 p.m. East. Cancerian words and phrases include emotional security, home, family, sensitivity, connection, safety, familiarity, feelings, tenacity, protective, and caring. And yes, sin indeed. It is Veterans Day. It's a day to honor all, all members of the armed forces who served this country, risking their lives for the freedoms we afford. So definitely a good day to um, pay homage to veterans, to Show your appreciation, however you might, and uh, enjoy that. Enjoy Veterans Day, and it's good to think about those brave men and women who risk their lives for our lives so we can live in the greatest country in the world in which we're given luxuries and freedom and opportunities that other countries don't. So it's a good day to keep in mind why we're able to do that and that's because of veterans. Also, on Friday, the sun will square Saturn. Gloria Estefan has this aspect in her chart. Watch out, because the rhythm is going to get you. We must strive to meet responsibilities with the sun square to Saturn, or they will catch up with us later. <laughs> Keep that in mind. And coming out of the dark. If you want to come out of the dark, uh, relief is going to be achieved through patience, determination, and tangible results. Really, with the sun square to Saturn, don't expect people to be warm and cuddly. Uh, it's going to be very much like, okay, well, what are we doing? What's practical? How are we moving the needle toward what we want? And um, yeah, come on. Shake your body, baby. Do the conga. And uh, this is because we're going to be hard-pressed to... I get praise from other people now. Uh, so it's best to toot your own horn if you can. I'm sure Gloria Stefan needs to do that. Although being a Virgo, Gloria Stefan probably doesn't toot her own horn as much as she ought to. She said at one point, you know, it's funny how songs continue to grow and evolve and become a new and deeper reflection of your life. Isn't that true? You know, you can listen to a song and its meaning for you changes so dramatically from when you had heard it before. So I think that's a very keen insight, Gloria. Oh, you always love to, glor to dance with Gloria Stefan? Yeah, me too. She's great. She's great. I like her quite a bit. And then on Saturday, Saturday is November 12th, 2020. 22. Saturday is Saturn's day. The planet of discipline and responsibility rule the day. So um, get your ducks in a row if you haven't gotten them in a row already. I like getting my ducks in a row prior to Saturday if possible. So I can look at my ducks on Saturday and say, oh my God, my ducks, they're so pretty. They're so pretty and they're in a row. That could be really nice to have your ducks in a row by Saturday. And you also have a Cancerian moon. So it's good for a uh, Nesting and resting, your self-care, domestic tasks, and also sending negative emotions back to the ocean. That's a really good visual. So if you're feeling anything negative, just use that Cancerian moon to send it back to the ocean. Send it back to the ocean. Easy to do under the Cancerian moon because cancer is ruled by the moon. And uh, it's obviously connected to the ocean. Also, loving, caring, and connecting. Those are good things to do under the Cancerian moon as well. And it's also the Goss's birthday. Ryan Gosling's turning 42. He is not only an ambitious Scorpio, but he also has a, an ambitious Capricorn moon. He has the most ambitious signs in his big three. Uh, we put his chart at 12 p.m. He has like, I think, a 16 degree cap moon. 
So Moon was definitely in Capricorn that day, although we don't have his time of birth. Being a Scorpio, uh, he didn't want to reveal that, or he kept that under lock and key. I think out of all the charts that I try to run, Scorpios are always the ones where I don't have the time for it because they keep that information to themselves. Even Hillary Clinton, actually, Scorpio, her time is, uh, I think they say 7 a.m. and some of the sources say 7 p.m. I don't know. I have a feeling that she probably messed with that a little bit, didn't give us the truth. Um, but yeah, with all that ambition, he received, Ryan Gosling, a Golden, Golden Globe, a BAFTA Award, and two Academy Award nominations. So maybe watch some Ryan Gosling, Ryan Gosling flick on Saturday or Saturday night. That could be good. He's good looking and weird. I agree. Even his face, I mean, he's obviously very good looking, but he definitely has a quirky aspect to his personality. So maybe that's an Aquarius rising. Maybe you can watch The Notebook, cry your eyes out. I think he's in The Notebook, right? Forget what else the goss is in, but he's in a lot of really great things. And he has a terrific sense of humor. And he's also a good dancer. So keep that in mind for Saturday. Also on Saturday, Mercury will try Neptune. Vanessa Williams, remember her? She has this aspect in her chart. Mercury's the plan of the communication. And Neptune, well, Neptune is like touching God. But it also is about escapism and can be indulgent. And it can obfuscate things. So uh, the colors of the wind, you might actually notice the colors of the wind. Trust your intuition. Expect enhanced psychic abilities and heightened intuition with Mercury's trying to Neptune on Saturday. And dreaming. Elevated sensibilities make this aspect ideal for dreaming. Art and harmonies. Anything that requires harmonies is really good with Mercury's trying to Neptune. And uh, sometimes the snow comes down in June. Mm, not really. <laughs> I did research, and it did at one point in the 1800s, and I believe it did in England in, like, 1987. So it's not sometimes. We should call up Vanessa Williams and be like, hey, Vanessa, you know how you said in your song, save the best for last, that sometimes the snow comes down in June? Well, no, it doesn't, Vanessa. She may have been confused with Ver Mercury trining Neptune in her chart. That could be the key. Also, she said, good work is such an incredible payoff. And I know that I'll be working until the end because good work excites me. Anyway, on Sunday, the 13th of November, Sunday is the sun's day. The sun rules the day. So enjoy your life. Get outside if you can, if it's not too cold. I think actually uh, the East Coast, New York anyway, got is going up to 75 degrees on Marathon Day, whenever Marathon Day is there. Kind of crazy. So um, maybe you'll get to enjoy the sun on Sunday. Definitely go outside and enjoy being alive. You saw the snow in July one year. You did? Pictures, Sin. Pictures are it didn't happen. <laughs> Where were you that you saw the snow in July? I think that's great. I'll take your word for it. I believe you. Oh, okay. You saw the snow in the mountains of Utah. Okay. Right on. All right. I'm going to do a little bit more research. Maybe Vanessa Williams is right. Maybe sometimes the snow does come down in June or July, as the case may be. On Sunday, you will have a Cancerian moon again. Cancer words and phrases include emotional security, home, Family, connection, safety, familiarity, feelings, tenacity, protective, caring, and sensitivity. So, yeah. Uh, additionally, remember, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Good thing to keep in mind on World Kindness Day, which is on Sunday, November 13th. According to the World Kindness Movement website, this day is intended to build a kinder, more compassionate world. Yes, that would be nice, right? So keep that in mind on Sunday. Also on Sunday, Venus will sextile Pluto. One of my favorite actors from the 80s who I grew up with, Andrew McCarthy. He has this aspect in his chart. It makes Andrew most likely uh, rather deep or deeper than a typical Sagittarius with a 
I think he has a Libra moon. Venus's sextile of Pluto adds a little bit of depth to that, which makes sense because he's such a good actor. 16 Candles, at least a new romance now under Venus's sextile of Pluto would be a highly charged, transformative experience. And grab a mannequin, we may be more interested in sex than normal and more experimental. Maybe if you grab a, man a mannequin, maybe it will be similar to Kim Cattrall. That could be nice. And straight from the heart, we're long to experience friendship or love at a more feeling level. And in one of his books, Andrew McCarthy once said, but in my clutching, it began to slip away. I softened my grasp and the sense of fluidity returned. I rode it like a wave. That might be nice to do, especially under this lunar eclipse, the Scorpio sun, not clutch onto things, allow things to fall away, soften your grasp for more fluidity and ride it like a wave. Good stuff from Andrew McCarthy. He's a great writer.